video isn't about me at all. It isn't about anything I like. This is all about you. Let's get into what you loved in the year 2021. Hello, my friends. This video was so much fun for me because I got to research what you loved in 2021. Now, how did I do that? I go through my analytics on the links that you guys use and that you went over and bought things off of, and I can find out what you guys purchased the most and what you loved the most. And it was so much fun for me. So I've compiled together the things that aren't on Amazon. Okay. Amazon is going to be another one of what you guys love, but these are the things that you guys love and that you bought the most this year. So I am really excited to bring it to you. Let's get right into it. Now I have to say that you guys kind of surprised me. So no particular order. Here we go through the things that you liked. Although the number one product I am going to save because it really fascinates me that that's the one that you bought the most out of all these. Let's talk about from e.l.f. the Holy Hydration Makeup Melting Cleansing Balm. This is a new one because when I talked to you about it, I was going through this one and I had two oils and another cleansing balm to go through. So I had to go purchase this one just for this video, but I'm glad I did because I love this stuff. This is really a nice product for taking off your makeup and you all felt like it was too. It has its own little spatula that it comes with. So you don't ever have to dip down in there if you don't want to. This just immediately melts into an oil like formula and then it takes off every drop of my makeup. And apparently you guys think it does too. And you like it that much. I I really appreciate that this has a price point of I think about eight or ten dollars It's very inexpensive. So it is easy to find you can usually find it at any of your Walmart Walgreens or at Ulta in store if you do that, but online, of course. This one I was really glad about because it's something that I, lo I love and I've used several tubs of it. So that was really fun. And then the next thing, this was actually no surprise to me because don't we all struggle with trying to find the right color of foundation? And for most of us, unless you are an extremely warm skinned person, most of us have that problem with our foundations turning orange. Well, you guys decided you had that same problem that I did and I talked about this all year long. Actually, it's probably been two years, but this is the year that you guys tried this and it's the LA Girl Pro Color Foundation Mixing Pigments. I love these. I have one in blue and then I have one in white for those darker foundations. The blue one will take any orange foundation and tone it down, make it a more neutral foundation so that you can wear it. So no more buying a foundation and throwing it in the trash because you feel like you can't take it back to the store or because you just feel like it's not worth it to take it back to the store. You can try to fix it. So if you like the formula of it, this is a savior for that. And especially if you are somebody that can't find something that is fair enough, that that is what this does too. Now for deepening, I really don't have any any suggestions other than just buy a really darker one. That's actually what I finally did with, uh, I think it was the NYX foundation drops. I just bought a really dark one since it was so liquidy and then I could mix it into my foundation without it affecting my foundations. And by the way, since you have to use so little of this and it is so concentrated, it doesn't affect the consistency of your foundation. So these are amazing and they were one of your picks this year as well. Now, Another pick of yours, which is been a pick of mine ever since it came out is from Charlotte Tilbury. And this is the airbrush flawless setting spray. This I had found, I probably found it at the end of last year, but I was so impressed because there are very few Charlotte Tilbury products that I use daily or even weekly or whatever, but this is a daily product for me. As soon as I used it, I found that for me and my mature skin, it made my skin look, look very blurred. And I love that about it because it has little polymers in it. I've talked about this before, little particles in it that do the same thing as a primer does that blurring diffusion that you want on your skin. So when I got this, I was so impressed by it. And I've had this bottle for quite some time, probably the end of last year when it very first came out, might've came out a little bit before that, but whenever it did come out, that's when I got this bottle. I have had a little tester one as well in between there, but that's how long this has lasted me. And I just, I love it. 
it's just one of those products that I thought was very much worth the money and very much worth the hype. And apparently you guys did too, because you guys purchased a lot of it. Another one that is on the little pricier side, I know, but this one I just immediately fell in love with. This is the Tatcha, the liquid silk canvas. Now they had such good sales on this during the holiday. And I do believe that still on Tatcha's website and on Sephora, you still can get sets which are quite good priced because you get um, a lot of other products to be able to try from Tatcha's line. This one and their spray are the only two two products that I've tried. But this one is the one that just impressed the crap out of me. I was so impressed by it. This goes onto the skin and it immediately sinks in and this is beyond silk on your skin. It it is just amazing. It blurs your skin out. It makes it feel just like it's softer than a baby's behind. And I love it. It is one of those products that just impressed me immediately when I very first used it. And you guys apparently have loved it as well. Now this product I've been talking about for a few years now might even be three but this is the good molecules niacinamide brightening toner this toner has made a huge difference in my skin and apparently you guys thought so too because you picked it up and you have been using it too this is one of the most beautiful toners to be able to sweep the gunk out of your pores and for you to brighten up your skin this has done wonders for me i noticed a difference with it within a the first few days of using it and as i've used it over these past couple years my skin just loves it more and more and i can really tell when i don't have this when i run out and i'm in between waiting for an order i can really tell because this niacinamide just does its trick it also has alpha arbu Ar arbutin licorice root and vitamin c which all of those are brightening ingredients so this is a little powerhouse in a little brown bottle and i love it and you guys loved it too another skincare item that we all love and this is one that made a huge difference for me is the buffet with copper peptides if you re research anything about copper peptides they are really instrumental in the repair of the skin and the buffet has tons of different peptides in here anyway but the copper peptides are the ones that are really super active in the skin and repairing the skin and this made a gargantuan difference for me in my skin's tone and so i just love it it's one of those ones that i could not recommend enough to you guys in several videos this year and again you guys picked this up and i think you're loving it too the next product is a product i've probably been talking about again for three or four years you guys hopped on this train this year with me and i think it was because sephora did their 30 percent off of all of their in-house cosmetic products and this is their um, color product or their color pot and this one is in second chance and this is the one that i use for my contour this is a very grayish brown and it is the perfect brown for anybody that cannot use anything with warmth in it it is so taupe so cool toned that you will immediately notice it and i will show you what i'm talking about now this one again this one's second chance the other one that i have in my hand is called first touch this is another one that i use more along the lines for a bronzer i will if i'm in a hurry or in a pinch i will use this really quickly and in the summertime this one works just a little bit better for me when i have a tan and i am a little bit more warmed up i want to show you the difference in the two and so here is first touch and then second chance very cool tone and so many of you must be very cool tone too because you picked it up and uh, as far as i know you've been using it now all of these products that i've been talking about i want to hear your reaction to these down below are these products that you yourself picked up and that you like now i will say that i don't know why i've never had this problem before but in this first touch one there was a little bit of a film on there now if you find that in any of your powder products just a little fyi tip take a spoolie and go over the top of it and just knock that little bit of the film off the top of it you'll have a perfect powder product again but those are some that i have loved and then let's talk about kosas i just put kosas in so many videos so i'm not going to sit here and take a long time about it but you all heard me earlier this year 
talk about how I ditched my concealer. I wasn't using concealers because I felt like I was being aged even more by them. They were settling into this area. They were making it look dry and cakey and it just looked like a hot mess all the time. And so I wasn't even looking for one, but I had heard so many people on YouTube talk about how this was such a great concealer and how it didn't settle into fine lines and didn't make you look cakey that I had to try it. And I am so happy I did. This for me self sets, which means I don't have to put powder up there if I don't want to. In the summertime, I think I'm probably gonna have to put maybe some setting spray up there underneath my eyes, maybe a little bit of powder, but it really does a great job right now when I'm so dry. So it will self set it itself and such a tiny, tiny bit goes such a long way. Now, why do I have two colors? I put one color, which is the darker color, which I think is called Cool Cashmere. If it's not, it'll go up on the screen. And then the one in here, which is the very lightest color, which is Shell something, I can't remember. I think it's Shell. Anyway, it goes right in this cavern right here and then I'll blend them together. And it just creates this beautiful light right here around my eyes and I cannot say enough good about this. All right, the number two product is this brush. I cannot tell you how many times I used this brush on camera and I forgot to put it into the description box or I forgot to talk about it um, on camera and you guys go, what's that brush? What's that brush? What's that brush? This is the It Brush for Ulta. It Cosmetics Brushes for Ulta. And it is the mega airbrush perfecting brush something like that this is my very favorite powder brush because it is so airy and it is so light and i remember when i got this i was just barely starting my channel so we're talking almost six years now when i got this i almost choked because of its price because i didn't know how much brushes went for for makeup at all i had no idea but now i know that this brush is worth its weight in gold it is the best brush and you guys were very intrigued by it and you picked it up a lot this year too. This, this is the second best item that I showed and you guys apparently are loving it. Let me know what you thought of this brush. I would love to hear that from you. The number one selling product is a product that I did in just a product showcase all by itself. I did a whole entire video just on this and it is a $6 tube of mascara from Essence. This is the 24 Ever Bold Volume Mascara. I can't tell you how much I love this stuff. It is a dupe for the Benefit They're Real, the original one, not the magnet one, but the original one. And this is, it was just, it was my love. It was, not was, is my love. I still reach for this. This is my number one mascara and will be next to that one from Benefit. It has just a wonky little wand right there. It's not a natural bristle brush. It is the um, silicone or the, you know, the plastic brush, but this builds like no other. It lengthens, it volumizes. I can get way down in by that lash line and then, you know, separate those lashes. This is a fantastic $6 mascara. I think it beats out every mascara I've ever used, except for the benefit. It's like they're both right there on that level of how beautiful they both are. And I, you wouldn't hurt my feelings if I had either one and just had those for the rest of my life for two mascaras, because I think that they are that good but this was one of my num this is the number one selling of 2021 for you guys and i couldn't be happier because i think you got a fantastic thing in your makeup arsenal and these will make your lashes look so pretty so that's the number one thing i hope that you did enjoy that like i said i am going to bring you the best of amazon that you guys liked so much and i really want to hear from you guys in the comment section if you purchased one of these if you purchased more than one i want to hear from you because i want to know what has worked for you if it hasn't worked for you i want to hear that too that that helps me out so much but i had so much fun researching this video and getting these products together that i am really excited about it and i'm excited to show you what my picks are for 21 2021 also and that is going to be coming to you in i think probably a three or four part series we're going to be doing that so it's winding down and i'm super excited to be able to do all this for you guys so hope everyone is doing very well please give this video a thumbs up on your way out of here it does help me out so very much 
I love you and we will all meet back here hopefully very soon in my next video. Goodbye my friends.